Number nine, write the ionic equation for the dissolution and the KSP expression for each of the following slightly soluble ionic compounds, and then we have lead to hydroxide, PbOH2. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to write that ionic equation. We can never get a KSP expression without an ionic equation or an equation in general. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write that equation, right? Dissolution means that this compound is just dissolving, dissolution dissolving, into its ions. So we have to start off with the ionic compound. So Pb OH2, and they say that this compound is slightly soluble. Slightly soluble means that at equilibrium, so I need to have those double arrows, at equilibrium, not much of the ions are going to be made. You're mostly going to have this compound, which is going to be a solid. But we still have to find out what those ions are. So we have to find out where the split is between Pb OH2. Well, I noticed that I have OH, right? And OH is hydroxide. It's a polyatomic. So the break has to be between the lead, the Pb, and the OH. So there are my two ions starting off. We have Pb and then OH. Okay. Now, I just need the charges. What are the charges in the upper right-hand corner? This is going back to review to find out, you know, what the charges are in an ionic compound. We do the crisscross. There was one Pb and two OHs. This one crisscrosses up, telling me that the OH is a negative one. This two crisscrosses up, telling me that the Pb was a plus two. And there are your, char your charges. So Pb, you could say plus two, two plus, it doesn't really matter. And then the hydroxide, the OH is the minus, you could say minus one, doesn't matter. We have charges. So I know that these are going to be aqueous. All charges are going to be aqueous. And now I just need to make sure, is this equation balanced? Well, I have one Pb, so I don't have to write any number here. But I have two hydroxides. So I have to come over to the product side and say I have two OHs. And now my equation is balanced. So I'm going to use this equation now to solve for the KSP expression. KSP expression is pretty easy. It's this formula right here. KSP is just equal to the products raised to the coefficients. Why isn't it divided by the reactants? Well, because the reactants is a solid. Remember, no solids or liquids allowed for any K expression. So I just look for that product side. KSP equals, there's two ions on the product side. So I have product uh, concentration of Pb2 plus or plus 2, whatever you want to say. Maybe I'll just switch it up just to show you. It doesn't matter, you know, which one you write, times the concentration of OH minus. But now for KSP, be careful. You have to raise it to the coefficient. For any K expression, you have to raise it to the coefficient. But like last chapter, acid bases that we did, Everything was a one-to-one. -one. So that's why we kind of were like, eh, whatever, right? We knew that there was not going to be any coefficients. But for KSPs, there's going to be some coefficients. For the lead, there was nothing here. So that means that it was one. So I could raise it to the first or I could leave it alone. But for the hydroxide, there's two OHs. So I have to raise the OH concentration to the second power. And now this is the KSP expression. And that's it, guys. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys are all having a great day. Let's keep studying hard, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.